Hi guys, I'm Alexandra Dubine. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for clicking on today's video. So I have a quiz haul today of their wedding shoes and bag range. If you are currently looking for some shoes or a bag for your Hindu though, definitely stick around because there are some fabulous pieces in the haul today. This video is not sponsored at all by Quiz. They do not know that I am making this video. If you like the video today, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. And if you turn on the bell, you'll also get the notifications for my upcoming videos. Everything in the haul today, I will link down below and I will pop my Instagram details down there as well in the description box if you do wanna check me out on Insta. So I'm going to start with the bags and as well as just showing you guys the bags, I'm also going to do a phone and lipstick check to make sure that both of these items are going to fit in the bag. These are two essentials that I definitely will want to fit in there myself. If these aren't necessarily your essentials, hopefully this will give you a bit of an idea of the bag size. The case that I have here is for an iPhone 11. So just to give you some idea, if you have a different phone, this case is for an iPhone 11 and this is just a little Mac lipstick. So the first bag today is this super pretty pearl bag. It is completely covered in pearls. It's actually just made from pearls, to be honest. Now it does have this kind of little pouch inside and I think that's in there so you can't really see what's in the bag because you know the pearls are definitely see-through. If you use this little pouch it kind of does make the bag a little bit smaller because this pouch is quite a lot smaller than the kind of this part itself. There isn't any fastening on this other than this kind of drawstring here. So this bag isn't particularly secure. This little bag was £30 so it's, you know, it's not the cheap. I think this was actually the most expensive bag in the haul today, but I do think that's really pretty and it's probably, it's probably something that you could definitely get your use out of again. Now, to do the check. So if you, we'll do it without this first. So phone and lipstick, that is going, yeah, that's going in there just fine. So that that is kind of how it looks without the little bag inside. You definitely can see, you know, you can see through it. Try them in this little bag. So the phone is gonna be sticking out the top and it doesn't go in that way but it, it kind of like it does fit in so it would have to kind of go in like that it does stick out the top if you do use the little pouch but you know when you do use the pouch you definitely can't see through it now so just kind of like weighing up those options if you do like the bag I think personally I don't love this sticking out the top I am absolutely in love with bag number two it is this gorgeous lace bag with a little bow detail. It's not hard case, it is kind of soft, but it's that kind of structured box kind of style of bag. It's got the little pop on the front. This does also have an optional little strap on the inside as well. Now we'll jump straight in with the phone and lipstick test. Just goes in this one, okay? So let me pop that in there. So that's in there. It's not bulging, you can't see. That definitely just fit in. But to be honest with you, that's the case. So if you had a phone that wasn't in the case, that is just gonna go in there fine. I think this is so pretty. It's so bridal. I absolutely love the lace. And this one I got in the sale for £6.99. £6.99. Well, it's, it's lovely quality. It's such, such good quality. I am 100% gonna be keeping this bag for my wedding bag. I absolutely, I just love it. It's just perfect size to fit everything in, but it's not too big. I just love the lace. It just looks so elegant and classy. I, yeah, I love this one. And £6.99. <laughs> bargain. Bag number three is this cute little hard cased love heart bag with a ruching detail on it. It's got a little kind of faux jewel on top as well and that's the opening and it kind of lifts open and again you've got two straps in here. You've got the little strap which I think is really cute that little strap and then you do have the, uh, the longer strap as well. Now this one unfortunately it passes the lipstick test that goes in there but the phone it does not fit in any way so even though that is the case and obviously the phone's going to be you know slightly smaller than the case um I did check with just the phone and it's too big it literally does not go in any way you can kind of get it there but it just it doesn't close if you have a smaller phone than an iPhone 11 
then you know potentially it's going to fit because it's not kind of that far off but yeah if you do have an iphone or something equivalent size to an iphone it's not going to fit in there if you did want to carry your phone with you but not everyone does want to carry their phone on the wedding day to be fair so if you did like the look of this bag then you know definitely check it out this was 22.99 so i actually think that's quite a good price really because it is a good quality bag you know it is properly hard case you have the two little options of the strap the only thing that i don't love about this bag and that is you know totally totally personal preference some people aren't going to care about this but for me i don't like this little fake jewel here i think i don't know i just think it could have been a little bit nicer if it was maybe like a pearl or just kind of the plain like silver across but you know that is just picking at it really it is a really really nice bag but because it doesn't fit my phone in and that that isn't essential for me this one i'm definitely not going to be keeping this one bag number four is another hard cased bag with the ruching detail on the front and then it just has the kind of smooth back on this one this one does also have some jewels on the clasp at the top and it's the same kind of opening and again you have the different straps on the inside of this one now again this was another bargain i got this one in the sale for 8.99 you know that's such a good price it looks like it's worth a lot more than 8.99 this one on the test of the phone and lipstick that is going in there absolutely fine as well plenty of room if you want to add any extra little bits in there as well now kind of same as the last bag i personal preference i don't love these little jewels on the top but for $8.99, you know, that is really just picking at it. It's not kind of a, a huge, I don't hate it. I, I think I prefer the little, the smaller jewels rather than that one big kind of jewel on the other one. I'm definitely going to keep this bag for my hem party. I think it's so pretty and I just, I love, I love a bargain. <laughs> the final bag in the haul today is this little I do hard cased clutch bag. So it's got the little pearls with the kind of little silvery jewel. Let me pop it up a little bit closer so you can see it. And it has this finger holder here. As you open it up, again, it's this little clasp closing and it has the two different lengths of straps on the inside where have i put my phone and lipstick oh i think i've left it in the other bag okay <laughs> so phone and lipstick test so again that's going in there absolutely it is going in there fine i'm just oh, i've left all the papers in it there so that's gone in there absolutely fine again so no issues with the size now this one i think is going to be a bit of a love it or hate it bag because of the kind of design i think it's just going to be totally personal preference how you feel about it kind of saying like i do on it this one this one's possibly my least favorite bag of all of the bags because i kind of just feel firstly you know you really can only kind of really use this maybe one two times so i definitely wouldn't get my use out of this this bag was 22.99 so it wasn't one of the cheaper ones either obviously you guys won't be able to tell here but this one it kind of smells quite bad because i think where they kind of stuck all of this on with the glue like there's this really overwhelming smell of glue, which makes me think that it's, you know, a little bit cheaper the way it's been made. But I think when these bags come with that kind of smell, if you just let them air for a little while, that, that smell does go away. Um, but I'd definitely be mindful if you do want to go for this one. Moving on to the shoes part of this video. I have three pairs of shoes. They're all coming in this really nice white quiz shoe box. I actually really like this shoe box. The fact that it's white with a little silver logo, it kind of makes it feel quite bridal even though this is quite a budget friendly range the first pair of shoes are these wedges with the sparkle detail on the front now kind of feeling a bit mixed about these shoes to be honest guys so well firstly these are 22.99 or 23.99 i will double check that which i think is actually a great price I really like the style of the shoe. I like the T-bar here. I like how that kind of keeps your foot quite nicely in position. I like the heel height. It's not too high. I personally don't like shoes that are too, too high because I just find them so uncomfortable. But it does have like a cushioned sole as well, to be fair. So this shoe was extremely comfortable to wear. However, one thing that I don't love about this shoe is how it goes on. And that's with this kind of elastic kind of strap. 
and to me that made it feel a little bit cheaper than perhaps it would have been if it had had like a normal kind of strap and kind of buckle fastening um the quality of this isn't great i don't know if you can see but there's like little bits kind of hanging off here as well the these aren't the best quality if i'm completely honest i think they're really pretty and you know if you're kind of thinking you know you can't see my shoes under my dress i just want something that's comfortable and pretty and you know you can definitely wear these after the wedding as well then i would definitely check these out but if you do want something that's kind of feels more bridal and a little bit kind of higher quality then i wouldn't really go for these to be honest with you i think they're super pretty and they're the kind of shoes that i would just love to go kind of on holiday on like a meal i would definitely wear these but i think they're possibly just very slightly too casual for me for a wedding pair number two are these gorgeous small stiletto slip-on shoes with a pearl detail pop that a little bit closer so you can see it i love the design of this shoe i think it's so so pretty the quality of the material on this one feels nice as well this feels much more bridal than the last pair of shoes to me anyway these ones were 32.99 so i actually think that's a really good price because these are actually good quality they've got the padding in the sole again i, I just really like this pearl detail there's nothing about these that kind of feels cheap to me like whereas there are some kind of elements of the last shoes that did feel a little bit cheaper these ones don't feel like that because the heel is smaller again it was quite comfortable to walk in one thing that i kind of noticed about this shoe was that it kind of doesn't obviously have any kind of secure strapping at the back other than kind of this to keep your foot in place so totally personal preference again i personally would kind of struggle to wear these for a long period of time because I think I'm definitely better with the shoes that kind of hold your foot in position a little bit more. But having said that, you know, I I love this shoe. I would definitely, if you're someone who doesn't really care about having your foot really strapped into the shoe, I would definitely, definitely check these out. I think they're really, really a good price for £33. All of the shoes that I got from Quiz today are a size 5, which is my normal size, and they all just fit absolutely fine. I have no issue with the sizing at all. The final pair of shoes that I picked up were these block heel sandals with the silver detail. Now, I absolutely love the block heel on these because I just think you can just walk forever in a block heel. And because it kind of keeps your foot in position, I found these shoes extremely comfortable and easy to walk in. Again, they have the cushioned soles. These shoes were $29.99. So again, I think that's a great price. I really like the style of this shoe as well. I like the two straps. I, personal preference, one thing that I personally don't love about this shoe is the silver kind of jewels along the front that's just personal preference i i don't love that but if you like that kind of detail then i would definitely check these shoes out because yeah i, I don't actually have a bad word to say about them other than it's just personal preference that i don't like the kind of sparkly bits on them but if you are definitely someone who loves the sparkly bits then yeah i think these are a really pretty shoe and for 30 pound i think the quality of them is really nice again the material on the heel it's kind of like, it's not satin, but it's kind of like that satiny effect to make it feel a little bit more bridal as well. This was my first order slash purchase from Quiz in about 10 years. Yeah, it must be about 10 years. And I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with the items that I have received. I'm definitely going to be keeping a couple of those bags for my wedding and Hindu. I hope you guys maybe saw some pieces that you liked for yourself as well. If you did like the video today, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.